Hi everyone, it's Shannon with Play With The World and today I have a great message for you because it's something that most of us relate to. That is really, do you have a goal or a dream that hasn't come true? Well, let's talk about why our goals don't come true. And today what I'm gonna share with you is how to follow through on your goals because chances are you have awesome inspiration coming to you all the time maybe you have a great vision or an invention or a dream or a goal you even share it with people but then you don't know what steps to take most people we fall into fear we don't know what steps to take or someone else has already done it or we think ah, I can never do that because I don't know how to do it I don't have the money to do it I don't have the qualifications to do it and so we abandon our dreams and we fall short on living our full potential. Today is all about the follow through formula on how to make your dreams a reality. I am so excited to share this with you because I am living and breathing it right now. I have so much inspiration coming to me and I'll share as I take you through the steps today. So I want you to think about a dream or a goal that you have that perhaps has never seen the light of day. And what is the process that happens for you? Do you fall into fear and thinking, gosh, this is just too hard to make come true so you forget it well today take yourself through the steps as I share with you empower yourself to really action out this dream because here's the thing if the goal is coming to you and there's a dream that is inspired from your heart and boom you get inspiration that is yours to deliver to the world it is your idea your goal your dream and no one else has the exact same dream and no one else can do it the way you can. Imagine if when I left corporate after depression, I said, oh, there's already self-development authors, there's already authors out there, and I'm just never gonna write because it's already been done. Are you kidding me? I'm living my purpose now because I know that the way I approach my writing is different than anyone else. And the way that I share my message, yes, it's about happiness and there's lots of other great happiness authors, but it's a different approach because I bring me, the girl Shannon, into it. So what can you bring into your dream? You. And the more you you put into your dream, the more you will succeed. So I'm gonna share with you three steps, maybe four, we'll see how it goes. And these steps are gonna empower you to really make your dreams come true and get rid of the fear so you can action forward on your inspiration. And so the very first step is to become a why not person. What does this mean? Okay, well I'm gonna share with you. In my class I teach at the college here and we had this very great discussion in class the other night with my college students and we were talking about the TED Talk by Elizabeth Gilbert called The Elusive Creativity check it out it's really great and she talks about how creativity and the ideas that come to us are actually outside of us the ancient Greeks believed that when famous people or people who were creatives painters philosophers writers anybody who gets inspired you don't have to be a creative to have great ideas it is this idea that the inspiration comes to you outside of you. Instead of attaching it to yourself and taking on the ego of, I am great, my ideas are amazing, take on the idea that the idea is outside of you. And my student, uh, we were talking and this discussion was great because the idea that Elizabeth Gilbert proposes and the Greek philosophers really f bring forward is the idea that these creative genius lives outside of the human and it comes to us in these flashes and I know you know that's true for you because think of there's no real rhyme or reason to when we get our ideas inspiration could strike you in the shower it could wake you up in the middle of the night it could be while you're babysitting it happens anytime and a lot of times it's because it's just this spark so what do you do with that spark? You have to become a why not person. In my conversation with my students, Elizabeth Gilbert, she says, why not look at it as an opportunity, you know, creativity comes to us and it is inspired. And my student, one particular said, why bother? And I realized in that moment that there are two types of people in this world. There are the why nots and the why bothers. So you want to make sure that you align with why not instead of why bother on your dream. Are you saying why bother my dream doesn't matter? Absolutely chuck that to the curb and take on the idea of why not bring this to life? Why not allow me to be the person to bring this 
into the world. So after you really look at that, you will feel more empowered. And when you start living your life with a why not mentality, you will explore wonderful options. And so then you really wanna take step number two, which is take action. Taking action right away is going to help you succeed. Most of us don't take action because we don't know which right action to take. Well, here's a trick and the secret to success. Just take action. It does not matter what action that you take because when you take action, you're moving forward on the dream. And as you take that action, the step will reveal itself to you that leads to the right path. So recognize that there is no wrong action. Most of the time we say, I don't wanna make a wrong move. I don't wanna mess up. I don't know if I'm doing it right, so I'm not gonna pursue my goal. Well, don't abandon your dreams because you don't know what action to take. Instead, flip the philosophy and really say, I'm going to take action. So if you want to write that book, write the book. Just get down and start writing. Stop learning and feeling like you need to know the whole story. Just get into it. If you want to, you know, change jobs, start creating a resume you're proud of. If you really feel stuck in life, think about hiring a coach or working with a support system who can help you get out of your own way. Take action. It doesn't matter which action. So challenge for you. I'd love for you to leave the comments comments below. What action are you going to take on your dream right now? Do it. What action? Do it now. That is a fabulous step that will empower you because the more action you take, the more clarity you get. And guess what? The more confidence you have. You know, one action you can take is to actually share your inspiration. This could be a step in itself to actually get outside of your comfort zone and verbally say to a support, a friend or a confidant, what your goal is, what your dream is, what you're capable of. And by sharing, you really involve other people and you create this emotional pact. And you're also holding yourself accountable in an empowering way. It's not a, I'm sharing it with someone because I am gonna fail. It's more of a, I can't wait to just see this come true and these people are gonna help me get there. So sharing it can help. The next thing you wanna do is create a big picture plan. So you have your goal, that's your big picture plan. You already know that you wanna lose weight. Maybe that's your big goal, you wanna lose X amount of pounds or maybe you wanna write a book or maybe you want to be in a relationship. Whatever this inspiration is that comes to you in this goal, that's your big picture. Now, you put mini goals in between on the way to that big goal. The mini goals are gonna help you get there. So I'm gonna put this all into action for you. This past Saturday, I woke up full of inspiration. My insides were saying, every fiber of my body said, you have to write this book. I have to write Find Your Happy Daily Inspirations. Now this has been an idea in my mind for quite some time, for about a year, but it wasn't until just this past Sunday that I woke up in the middle of the night with this energy flooding through my body. At three in the morning, I started writing. So I immediately took action and I thought, I already have a book coming out in May, Adventures for Your Soul. And I thought other people, like most authors don't release multiple books within one year. In fact, I don't think it's really done at all. And so instead of saying, why bother? I said, why not? I'm gonna release a book by the holidays. This is my new goal. It has never been done to produce a book as fast as I'm trying to get this out, but my goal and dream is to get it out for you because it is 365 days of inspiration and motivation. And I have been writing, I'm on, I've written 40,000 words in the past four days. And it is a mission for me to get this done and turn it around. And I put the action forward, which meant I started writing. And then I shared it with people. I called my publisher and I said, is this possible? And they said, no, it's not possible. Are you kidding me? We cannot turn this around in that short a time. And I, instead of saying, okay, why bother? I said, why not? Why don't we try and see if we can? And yes, it has not been done, but I believe I can do it. And so I'm sharing this with you because this is inspiration in action. And so by sharing it with my publisher, I shared it with my family and said, here's the project I'm working on. Send good vibes that we get it all done. And I called my editor and everyone is on board. 
And then the what I did, the key piece was to have the big goal of having this book out in your hands by the new year. So you can start 2015 with these beautiful, beautiful mantras. And I set mini goals. So each day I write 15,000 words in order for me to meet the goal to reach to the publisher to get it to print in time. Whew, that is a magnificent amount of work, but it doesn't feel like work at all. I'm having so much fun writing this book and it is beautiful because I'm co-creating with the universe and that's what happens when you are inspired. You allow the idea to come to you, but you work with what you have and there are things you don't know, but you allow them to come to you in the process. So this week, I can't wait to hear all of your feedback through email and also the comments on how you are going to step forward and make your dreams come true because you can choose to follow through on your goals and that inspiration and you can be a why not person. I love you all. I'll see you soon. Thanks for playing with the world.